Podcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Well, hey, good evening, everybody. It's CJ. Thank you so much for being here with me this evening. I would like to do a sound check. Hopefully, I'm not talking to myself. So if somebody could just write in whether you could hear me or not, that would be awesome. Can everybody hear me talking? Hello, hello. Do I have anybody that can uh, just write in? Here we go. We got something coming in now. Where'd it go? Whoops. Don't go too fast. Oh, no. All right, guys. I can hear you. Audio is great. Awesome. Audio is great, but the operator on this system isn't too great. Give me a second here to get back to where I need to go. Here we go. Whew. Okay, I'm glad the audio is good and it looks like we still have people joining us. You know, it's pretty crazy. We had 70 people register for this webinar, which is amazing. And I can only hope that half of them show up on this uh, on my screen here because I think people get used to the idea that we record all our webinars now and they become available afterwards, but they miss out on the fun of the interaction and and uh, truly the, the time being able to uh, listen and, and chime in and ask questions and all that kind of stuff. So it is by my clock 601 right now. And um, we're just going to give it a couple more minutes because I know some people have challenges getting on. So just give it two more minutes and I'm going to come back and we're going to get started. And I'm going to have you out of here in plenty of time to be able to enjoy your evening and enjoy your family. Okay, we are count down to the last minute before we go ahead and start moving our webinar along here. And uh, I do encourage everybody to ask questions. If I don't get to you right away, uh, see your hand up or, or see you right in. I do keep everybody muted, however, because we get a lot of feedback when we unmute everybody. So I apologize for that. But please go ahead and type in and we'll get to all the questions. If not during the webinar, we definitely will get to them afterwards.
Okay, let's go ahead and get started. Good evening, everybody. This is CJ. I'm looking at the names here on the list, and I think most of you know me. But for those those of you who don't, I am president of Center for Beauty Salon Supply. We are a distributor, a very small distributor of representing brands such as LCN and Foot Logics. We call ourselves the foot care only distributor and 99.9% .9 we are. However, we just, um, we're expanding a little bit into some other areas, but our area of expertise is in representing brands that have to do with the feet. My purpose here today with, with introducing you to the best of both worlds is exactly that. In my opinion, I do carry the two best foot care products that are on the market in our beauty industry today, LCN and Foot Logic. And I am not here to sway you one way or the other. I am here to explain the true differences and likeness that we have in representing both brands. So who are they? Well, Foot Logic has been around since 2008. They are known primarily as the Medi Petty Foot Care Company. Their home office is in Canada. The owner is Catherine Bongavel, and they're represented by or in 20 countries around the world. Their motto or, or their, their brand has been built by recognizing the changing needs of foot care technicians and their clients. They're known as the transformational foot care product line with a patented DIT dermal infusion technology, and their products are results oriented. LCN is known as the luxury brand. Their home office is in Germany. They're owned by a company called Vilda Cosmetics, which is family owned by the Callows. And they are represented in 80 countries around the world. They are more known for being the leading manufacturer of cosmetic, nail, and foot care products. They're known for a long history of providing exciting, innovative breakthroughs to the world of cosmetic science on a continuous basis. We are continuously being introduced to new things that they have brought over from Germany into the U.S. market. And they also are results oriented. Knowing the difference between the two, what is a Medi Pedi and what is a luxury Pedi? And quite truthfully, your Medi Pedi can be luxury if you want it, and your luxury can be Medi Pedi if you want it. But these are the key words. These, this is what we're hearing and seeing all over social media, and this is what what salons or manufacturers are, are, are expressing themselves at, and it's really important for you to know what each one of them means. So a Medi Pedi is really a fancy name for a non-traditional fluff and buff pedicure. When Foot Logics put it on their tagline back in two, 2008, it caught just like that. It's known for its use of callus peels and or microdermabrasion. That is what you will be, that is what you will find in Wikipedia as far as a Medi Pedi. It is also the use of pediceuticals, which is specifically made, they're products that are specifically made for the treatment of foot conditions. Luxury, on the other hand, is great comfort. It's being around beautiful surroundings. However, it does have results, so it also has the use of callus debridement in exfoliation, pediceutical products. Again, pediceutical products which are made specifically for the treatment of foot conditions. And luxury, of course, is something which gives you pleasure. So when you hear me market each one of the two different brands, I will classify Foot Logics as being the more clinical or the more Medi Petty brand, because that is who they are and that is who they have wanted to be. Whereas with LCN, although we are seeing the similar results, we also have the luxury aspects of it 
that not only include pediceutical products, because these products are made specifically for the treatment of foot conditions, but they also have more luxury ingredients, which make them more of a luxury foot care. So one of the things that I find a lot is that our technicians and um, you know, they take these advanced foot care classes, which is amazing, and I don't think you should ever stop. But then they come back and they want to be referred to as doing a medi pedi, and sometimes they actually make the mistake of calling it a medical pedicure. Girls, guys, let me tell you, if you are going to classify your pedicure as a medical pedicure, there must be a doctor on staff and on the premises. This doctor is usually a podiatrist or a dermatologist, and it's usually the doctors that are offering the medical pedicure, and the technicians are the ones that are working there. A doctor can diagnose, and they can prescribe a, treat, prescribe a treatment. On the other hand, the person performing the Medi-Pedi service or medical pedicure service, which is a licensed nail technician, can only recognize the condition and only recommend a treatment and always refer to a medical professional. So we have to be very careful with this because truly, in my opinion, this is getting out of control. There are things that we are learning. There are things that are being taught that are out of our limits of our license. And our technicians are getting out of control. So we really need to be very, very careful about this. Luxury with results is a whole foot results oriented treatment, usually including a, ma a massage mask, upgrades, heated towels, a wrap with warm, um, which warms and soothes your feet and hydrates, softens, ambiance is big. And again, can a luxury pedicure be a medipedi? And can a medi pedi be a luxury pedi? Both are considered pediceutical products. They're both made specifically for the skin on the feet. And to answer my own question here to you, they absolutely can. Because if you if you think about what a pedicure is, and I've talked about this many times in, in previous webinars as well as the articles that I write, you know, pedicure is manicure. A pedicure is manicuring of the toenails and care for the feet. What you call it and everything that you do in between is what makes the big difference from your pedicure to somebody else's pedicure or even what you may want to call it. Because if you're going to do a clinical pedicure, it's really not going to be a luxury pedicure. So you just really, I just caution everybody to be aware. And if you have any questions about your terminology or anything that you might want to use in your venues, please feel free to run it by me. I'm happy to help you in, in any way I can. The biggest differences in the brands are listed here. Footlogix has your dermal infusion technology. What that means is the products are infused into the skin. It is a mousse-based technology. It is effective. And again, it's a pediceutical. It has a professional line, and it also has a retail line. LCN is vegan and paraben-free. It's gluten and soy-free. It's seven plus. It's been free of things that we never even knew we had to be free of over in the European nations before the U.S. even realized what this seven free is. And it also is effective. It also is a pediceutical, and it also has professional and retail. So even just on these three screens, if you, if you really think about what the biggest difference is, in them are, again, one is more clinical and one would be considered a, a little bit more luxury, but they really are both results oriented, which make them a great mix. And you're gonna see here with the product line, the products as to what I mean. So knowing the ingredients are very, very important. And what I decided to do was really focus on 
what urea is because urea is the base in both of the products. In some of the FootLogix products, they have spirulina in it, which is in their DD cream. They have avocado oil in it and panthenol in their nail tincture. There's tea tree in their shoe and foot spray. There's sunflower oil in the nail tincture. And in their seaweed scrub, there's algae et- extracts. But the base of the product is urea. In the LCN line, they also have additional products or additional additional ingredients like lactic acid, shea butter, panthenol, allantoin, sunflower oil, plant extract, algae extract, vitamins A and vitamin E, and many, many more. And, and a good portion of these show up in a good portion of all their products. But they still are urea-based. So what exactly is urea? Because these next two, the, these next two screens are really getting into detail about your, what urea is. Urea is a nitrogen-containing substance that's normally cleared from the body by the kidneys into the urine. It was the first organic chemical compound which was ever synthesized, and it was an accident. A German chemist, Frederick Wohler, in 1828, was attempting to make an ammonium cyanate from silver cyanide and ammonium chloride, and in the process, he accidentally made urea. Urea is an organic waste compound produced by the body after metabolizing protein. The urea is then excreted by the kidneys in the urine, but it's also excreted through sweat. And regular healthy skin has a small amount of urea on the very outer layer. Urea, however, when it, we talk about cosmetics, is man-made in the laboratory. We're not pulling sweat off of people. We're not taking people's urine from all over the country. It is man-made in the laboratory. Urea is also known for loosening the dry skin, known as a keratolytic. It's also a hydrophilic. This means that urea has the amazing ability to hold on to water molecules. Why is this important? Because it'll keep our skin moist. It improves the barrier function. And one of its many benefits is that it helps to accelerate the skin's cellular renewal process. The really good thing about this is that it strengthens the barrier function of the skin and it does help it to keep you full and healthy. This is why both of the products work because they are both urea based. It's also a natural exfoliant. It works in synergy with ingredients that create the molecular structure of the skin such as elastic acid. You're kind of getting a double whammy there. It works really well when combined with the lactic acid. Combined, they work effectively and actively to remove dead skin cells and substances from the horny layer or the outside layer, improving our cellular turnover in the epidermis. Again, dramatically improving the water binding ability of the skin, which is keeping it hydrated. It's possibly in an anesthetic as well. It can create local anesthetics effect, aesthetic effects on the skin, which basically means it can help reduce inflammation and flare ups, which makes it great for sensitive skin conditions. And many times, often you'll hear me say, we've had great results with people who has eczema and psoriasis because it does help reduce the cycles of the inflammation and flare-ups. And the less flare-ups you have, the less stitching you do, and the better the skin condition gets. Penetration. One of urea's key roles, it's a hygroscopic. It's to increase the skin permeability of certain skincare ingredients. So it's working as a vehicle to bring other performance ingredients in. And that's why it is 
so good with products that have additional ingredients because not only is the urea penetrating the epidermis easily, but it's bringing those other active ingredients in with them. And because of urea's natural moisturizing factor, it can offer instant relief to dry skin, which we see many times in our pedicure chair. So in doing a lot of research to try to find the right way to present this for you, I ran across somebody called The Naked Chemist. I don't know if any of you have ever heard or read their blogs, but very, very interesting. And, and I, I had to put this down. I'm going to read it to you first, and then I'm going to tell you why I think it's so exciting. Whilst applications of emollient and occlusive ingredients coat the skin surface, creating instant moisturization, it is only a temporary fix. It will not improve the skin's ability to create and hold water like urea does. When urea is applied to the skin, it penetrates the stratum corneum layer where it readily absorbs and retains water, thus increasing the capacity of the skin to hold moisture and rehydrate. Why this is so exciting to me to hear it coming from the naked chemist is because I have said for years, when you're using products that are more categorized as your fluff and buff or products that don't have any ingredient that can process into the layers of the epidermis, you're putting those products right on top of the skin. So the first thing that you touch, the towel that you wrap their foot on, their sock that they put on after a pedicure, their shoes, the, the carpet, the floor, taking a shower, whatever it is, it's being immediately wiped off because it has not processed into the layers of the epidermis. And they're wondering why when they receive a pedicure that three or four days later, their feet are just retracting back to it what, what it was prior to that pedicure. <coughs> so it's very, very important to understand whatever product you're looking, you're looking to use, make sure that it has, and I'm sure there's more. I just haven't pursued that avenue, but I'm sure there's probably other ingredients out there that process into the layers of the, the epidermis that may be as effective, but I can tell you right now, urea is the main one and it has been around for years. So let's talk about, um, well, before I get into going into the products, does anybody have any specific questions about anything I just mentioned? Okay, so we're going to go ahead and get on to the products then. And this is this is true comparison to comparison. The first product used in the um, pedicure service typically is your product that we put in the foot bath for foot hydration and cleansing. The urea foot soap is 10% urea. The LCN bath crystals is 15% urea. The foot soak has no fragrance to it. The bath crystals have a, a very light, airy, we call it a bisabolo fragrance. The foot soak is a liquid. The bath crystals or the LCN bath crystals is exactly that. It's like a powder. It's like little crystals. The LCN urea bath crystals also have lactic acid in it. So we have that extra added ingredient in the LCN that gives it that, that extra added um, process of, of um, I don't want to say removing the outer layers of the skin, but, but beginning the keratolytic process. They're approximately the same in size. The 33 ounce is what the foot logic comes in with the foot soak in the professional size. And the breakdown in the LCN urea bath crystals is uh, about 22 ounces, 21 ounces. So it's a little bit smaller. And the retail size in the foot soak is 8.45 ounce. And the retail size in the um, 
the um, LCN is 3.38 ounce and cost per service, 31 cents compared to 28 cents. So truthfully, if you're looking to change for any reason because of price, these two are not going to do it because they're very compatible in price. I think cost per service, literally, there may be, you know, pennies difference, you know, 12, 14 cents difference. With the Foot Logix Foot Soak, you would use one to two pumps in your in your standard five to six gallon tub. And with the LCN Urea Bath Crystals, you would use one capful. I had a client that um, I have several clients that use the foot soak um, for in their shower as a shower gel because of eczema or psoriasis. It works very well. For many years, I used it myself. And then I started making my own soaps. And I had somebody tell me that they were seeing amazing results with their eczema um, with the cream they were using. So I actually made some soap a little a couple weeks ago with um, some urea foot bath crystals in it. So um, I did send it to my client to, to have her try it. I've been using it. And it feels great. But um, they're they're both very good for all over all over body the seaweed scrub versus the exfoliating scrub the foot logic seaweed scrub has luminara seaweed in it which um comes from the baltic sea and they do have a very specific cold press process that they do to get the the oils out of the seaweed because they do classify their seaweed scrub as being all organic. It is a polished pumice. You do have to use it wet. Even with the polished pumice, we have found that if you try to use it dry, it tends to be a little abrasive. So we always recommend that you do use it wet. And it does have a minty basil fragrance to it. Now. The foot soak and the seaweed scrub, we have had reports that they seem to be watered down. They seem to be a little bit um, more liquefied than they used to be. It's not your imagination. It is. And the reason is, is because they took out a preservative in each one of them. And when they did that, it changed the texture of the product. So if you were wondering, it's not a bad thing that they took out the preservatives, but some people have complained because of the liquidy um, effect of it, but there are no, there's no problem with the efficacy of the product as well. When using the seaweed scrub, you do want to, not clergy to shellfish, you want to check for allergies to shellfish. The exfoliating cream in the LCN brand has hydrogenated castor oil, which sounds very, very scary, but trust me, do some research on it. I have. It is an amazing product in skincare, very underestimated. The name is definitely more scary than the product is effective. It does have biodegradable wax in it, so the, um, the wax beads will dissolve in water not harmful to the environment. It has fruit acids in it. It has green tea and algae extracts in it. And what our clients do like about it that use it is that you can use it wet or dry. We tend to use our exfoliating scrubs wet here in the U.S., but in the European countries, they do more of a gamage. So they do like to use it dry and they use it until the skin actually starts to peel. They call it more of a peeling cream. If you, you actually see in the picture, it um, says that in, in German and don't ask me to say it because I can't speak the language, but um, it, that's what they classify it more in, in the European nations as a peeling. Again, the, um, the costs are very close together. The sizes are similar in the professional size. There's the 33 ounce um, in the seaweed scrub by Foot Logics, and there's the 33 ounce in the LCN scrub by um, exfoliating cream by by LCN in the thousand mil. And then the retail sizes are a little bit smaller. 
cost per service, 60 cents compared to 75 cents. Not a huge, huge difference, but um, there is a difference. And, and the seaweed scrub, you're using one to two pumps, depending on whether you're going up the full leg or not. And in the exfoliating foot cream, you're using a dime to a nickel or one pump um, when you're doing your service. One thing I do have to give kudos to on the um, the exfoliant foot cream is that the pump actually has this disc on the cover that when you pump, the disc goes down inside the container and it wipes the product completely clean down the sides of the complainer, container until it pushes all the way to the bottom. And then once you get to the point where you can't push that anymore, you can just lift that out and put that into your new container and boom, start all over again. It's a very nice feature for those of you who, who weren't aware of that. Callus softener versus foot soap. The biggest difference between the two, the Foot Logics Callus softener has 10% urea. The LCN um, soak spray has 15% urea and it also has lactic acid. And again, being a keratolytic, the lactic acid and the urea fifth, um, work very well together for callus debridement. There's a 33 ounce spray. Um, no. That is wrong. I apologize. There is a gallon size in the callus softener. And see if I can change this while we talk. Oh, no, I did it again. Okay, we'll just wait. There's a, ca there's a gallon size in the callus softener. There's a 32-ounce size in the callus softener. And there's a 6.9-ounce spray bottle in the callus softener. In the soak spray, there's a 500 ml and there's a 50 ml. And um, there, the cost is quite a bit of difference on this. Um, actually didn't realize how much difference it is, but, and I will double check that quite truthfully because I, I think that might be a, a typo. That might supposed to be 24 cents instead of 44 cents. With both of them, you spray on the dry foot. You want to spray it wet, but not dripping. You need to allow it to absorb to th for three to five minutes before you take out your, your e-file or your foot file and start doing your callus debridement. Neither one of them has to be soaked off. Neither one of them is harmful to the integrity of the, will not harm the integrity of the good skin. And both of them can be reapplied as needed. So you can see outside of a little bit of percentage of urea in the lactic acid, not much difference in the two. The massage formula versus the foot cream, and I might have duplicated this slide. So we'll skip by that if I did. But the massage formula versus the foot cream, they both have 10% urea in it. The biggest difference, not a whole lot of fragrance in the Foot Logix brand. Again, we have the Bisabolo fragrance in the urea brand. And LCN also has glycerin and allantoin um, compatible sizes except for the foot logics and the massage formula only comes to the 16.9 ounce, but you can see the cost per service, um, you know, 30 cents to 42 cents. And um, with the massage formula, you use one to two pumps. And with the urea foot cream, you use one pump and quite truthfully, because of our process of using an additional product with it, we just recommend that you use like a pea size, not even to a dime size amount. So it really does go a long ways. And the um, the Foot Logics massage formula again, I call it a peach fra fragrance. I I don't know that it's actually a peach fragrance, but it's very light. Cuticle softener versus cuticle softener. We have the new Foot Logics cuticle softener. If you have not all tried it yet, it comes in the one size. Its base ingredient is urea. And I don't have the cost per service on this yet because it is very new. 
And the LCN cuticle softener has hydrogenated castor oil as its main ingredient. And it comes in the 8 ml and 50 ml size. And it's um, about 18 cents per application in the 8 ml, which is going to reduce it down quite a bit in the 50 ml. Both of them you apply on the cuticle. Best results if you let it sit for a minute, um, cut, file, and buff. The LCN has a dropper that you can use. The 8 ml size is a brush. And the Foot Logics is like a squeeze bottle cap where you can just pop it a dot right onto the cuticle and both of them yes you can use on the toenails and you can use on the fingernails as well okay we have a lot of 10 percent items here in both of the lines and when i say 10 percent, i mean 10 percent urea so foot logic has the dd cream which has 10 percent urea and it has a very dry skin, which has 10% urea. The only difference between the two is the DD cream has spirulina in it as well. So it makes it um, more, gives it more of a slip. So where the mousse process is typically within 15 to 20 seconds, you're looking at the DD cream of a little over a minute. So their recommended use for the DD cream is at night. However, you can use it all day long. We do have a promo going on right now with the DD cream and the daily maintenance, which is 5% urea. That's a combo special going on right now with FootLogix that we're offering until supplies last. So any of my FootLogix users on here, um, if you didn't get the notice on that, you have now been made aware. The LCN foot cream has 10% urea in it. It also has glycerin. It also has allantoin. It comes in the 100 ml size there, as you see, as well as the 1,000 ml size. The DD cream comes in a 10.2 ounce can for professional use, as well as the retail size. And then the Express Foot Spray is also 10% urea. And really the only difference between that and the urea foot cream is it's in a spray bottle. And it does come in a professional size because we have many, many of our clients that will use the express foot spray on clients that really don't need any callus debridement. It um, has a little bit less urea in it. It's very, very effective. It's great for people who don't want to use their hands to apply products. Uh, it has many, many benefits in it. We, we use it as an add-on service or a quick pedicure or dry pedicure, if you will. Many, many, many uses to it. The cost per service in, in the um, Moose products I don't have. Um, and I honestly don't know why I thought I would have known that, um, but um, pretty compatible, I'm, I'm sure. With the FootLogix products you want to use, um, I, I can tell you the, the cost for a client is average about $8 a month. So if you're looking, I'm going to tell you that right now. So if you're looking at $8 a month divided by 160 applications, um, you're looking, hmm, that doesn't sound right. $8. No, that ain't how we want to do it. We want to do it. Um, give me a second here. Um, divided by 160. Yes, we're, we're looking around 17 cents per application is what it, what we are on the, on the, um, cream, the mousse formulas. With the mousse formulas, you want to use a walnut size amount per foot, apply it on the entire foot. And with the, um, the cream, again, a pea size amount most of the time or a light spray of the express foot spray. Then we have compatible items with the 25%. So we have the Foot Logics Cracked Heel, which is 25% urea. It is mousse based. It only comes in the 4.2 ounce size. And that is, again, going to be um, what did I say? 19 cents, I think 17, 19 cents per service or per application. And then LCN introduced their urea foot bomb, which is new to us 
but it has been over in Europe for a long time and it has been their number one seller. And now the U.S. has made it their number one seller. And consequently, um, the factory had to produce a whole lot more. So we are actually expecting our shipment in tomorrow, but we have been out of stock on it. Uh, so I apologize to those of you who have been waiting, but it is 25%. Again, it has the additional allantoin, glycerin, pan- panthenol, not pantheon, panthenol. And it also has seven wild herb extracts. The nice thing about this, and I do have to say, I am going to show a favorite here, which I don't really like to do. This foot balm is beautiful. It is a roll-on. It's very, very light. It is non-greasy. It produces amazing results. It is beautiful, is really all I can say about it. If you haven't tried it, highly recommend you get one to try. We don't know the cost per service on that. It's too new to us here in the U.S., but I'm certainly I'm certain that'll come on down the road. So again, with the moose products, you use a walnut size amount per foot of the cracked heel and the roll on, you just use 20, you just roll it on. So um, we don't know how many you get. And I knew I had duplicated this. I just had that feeling. Okay, so nail tincture versus Microsoft. This is my one of my favorite conversations because um, the, the reality is, as I as I said to somebody earlier um, in an email exchange that we were having about the products, I don't think there is one cure all for everyone. It's good to have a variety of products. And the reason why I tell you that is I hear from many clients, Foot Logic's nail tincture has been around for a long time. It has, it has proven very effective results. Um, it works well. I hear that a lot from a lot of people. But I also hear from a lot of people that the Microsec works well. I've had some people tell me that Microsec works better than nail tincture. I've had other people tell me that nail tincture works better than Microsec. Do you know why? You have to really just determine who your clients are and, and find out what will or won't work for them. Here is the difference between the two. The nail tincture has clotrimazole. That is your active they classify antifungal ingredient. However, clotrimazole is actually a fungostatic. What is a fungostatic? Fungostatic is something, is a is an antifungal agent that either stops or slows the growth. It doesn't kill it, but it does stop it and slow it. So therefore, when you use it, and we know that nail has to grow out with a with a, any type of, of nail that is indicative of fungus, we know that nail has to grow out. So if it's slowing the growth of the fungus, or if it's stopping the growth of the fungus, then obviously it's going to grow out with it, which is a good thing. So we're seeing effective results. Comes in a spray, 1.7 ounce spray, and um, it runs. 20, 24, um, or $12 salon costs the bottle, retail for 24. The LCN Microsoft has lactobacillus rye ferment flour in it. Now, I have to tell you, when I first got affiliated with this product, it had, um, this was not the active ingredient. It had, and I'm having a brain fart, but it had another ingredient that it eventually was banned in the UE, therefore it became banned in the US. And um, I found out beginning of last year that they were having to change a fir- the formula and I went into panic mode because we had been getting so many great results with with the Microsoft the way triclosan, that was that's what a triclosan. So anyways, um, didn't know when it was going to happen. And as time went on, I really totally forgot about it. And probably about eight months after it was introduced, it dawned on me. And I started looking at the bottle and it's like, oh, crap, it's been coming in with that. And I haven't had one person notice any difference. 
Lactobacillus riferment flour is an antifungal agent. It has been used for years in the treatment, treatment of acne. So can you put this on an acne spot? I've had clients tell me they did, and it cleared up almost instantly. The nice thing about the microsept is that it is also available in drops besides your spray, and sometimes there is a preference for that. But again, there's not a one-all cure for everybody. So it really doesn't hurt to, to have a couple just to see what it's going to do based on what your clientele is. But those are the biggest differences. Both of them, you would spray one to two times daily. Normally one time a day is what I previously would tell my clients. And um, if they are wearing nail polish or if they're wearing any, any type of nail enhancement, then you want to make sure that they spray it under the nail. And this product can be used on the fingernails as, as well as the toenails. It's, a, it's just, they're, they're both really great products. Tired leg versus, versus our warming foot cream in LCN or the red wine leaf in LCN as well. So Foot Logics has had their tired leg formula, which I personally have loved for years. It has 5% urea in it. It has horse chestnut in it, and it has arnica in it. So what it does is it has vasoactive properties. So it helps relieve that tired, heavy leg feeling. Arnica has a slow warming effect. So they work in conjunction with each other to help that feeling of that heaviness go away. It has also been great with the um, with cramping. It has been great with rest, restless leg syndrome. Many, many benefits of the tired leg formula. I've, I've been a fan of it for years and I continue to be a fan of it. The compatible items with the LCN, the warming foot cream, which was just introduced last year again here in the U.S., has also horse chestnut extract in it. It has beeswax in it for the hydration. It has red algae in it for many, many, many um, health benefits. And chili extract, which not only gives you that warming effect, but also gives you that, um, that slow warming effect so that it works well with the horse chestnut. And then we have our red wine leaf series, which I wasn't even going to bring up because I wanted to, I want to introduce this in the fall, but um, we have available everything LCN. So if anybody did want to get into it, we, we have easy access to it. The red wine leaf um, very much has the horse chestnut in it as well. Um, the active ingredients improve circulation, reduces swelling and irritation, and it has pear extract in it. And it does offer relief while providing moisture and promoting soft skin on their feet. So those are the two. There are actually two compatible items with the um, in the LCN brand compared to the Footlogic's Tired Leg. I've used them all. They're all really amazing. It's just a, it's just a choice. The tired leg mousse. It is a mousse formula. You would apply it where needed on the legs, on your neck, on your back. It doesn't matter. Same thing with the um, the warming foot cream or the red wine leaf. And um, the red wine leaf actually has a nice um, leg spray. They have a full system. It's a full pedicure system. But as far as the, the leg spray and the form in, in the cream, it would you would just be using a pea sized amount with the cream wherever you needed it in the spray, spray it wherever you needed it. So it just gives you some options there. So what else is there that each one has that doesn't have that the other doesn't have? Well, Foot Logics has their cold feet formula, which is great if you have if you experience um, Raynard syndrome, it's great for um, keeping your, your feet warm and your hands warm. We also have the sweaty feet formula, which um, has, um, oh, I'm having a brain fart. Give me a second. Um, and, and a stringent that actually soaks up the uh, moisture 
And again, it can be used on the feet. It can be used on the hands. And my daughter actually used it on her armpits and it worked very well. Also has the shoe deodorant spray. Also has the foot deodorant spray. Both of them have tea tree in them um, to help with foot odors and or shoe odors. And they also have a cuticle conditioner, which is their newest product that has the urea and glycerin in it, which um, comes in a four ounce size. And I have to say that is my only beef because imagine your client buying this four ounce bottle of conditioner because it is a retail item. You won't see them again for years and years and years and years because the four ounce size is a pretty big size. The LCN brand, we have a urea 10% foot mask. There's a 40% chap skin cream. There's a moisturizing cream. There's a refreshing foot cream. There's a sensitive foot care mousse. And we just introduced our citrus line, which we have some deals going on right now. And over the summer, we'll be introducing the spa balance line. So, um, you know, many things that each one has that the other doesn't have. And because they are all of the same base and they are very compatible to use with each other. Kits, they both have kits. FootLogix has a starter kit, which has your seaweed, your foot soak, your seaweed scrub, your callus softener, your massage formula, and a mousse product. They either put in the daily maintenance mousse or the very dry skin. And the urea kit has your foot bath crystals, it has your cuticle softener, your exfoliating cream, your soak spray, your 10% mask, your foot cream, and your express foot spray. And both kits are pretty compatible in price. For um, the Foot Logics, I believe is around $70, and the Urea Starter Kit is around $62, and they both get about the same. Um, services per kit, which is, you know, anywhere between 20 to 30. I say 20 to 25, but usually between 20 to 30, depending on how you're using it. And there you go. $2.14 per service, $2 per service, not a big difference in the price. And quite truthfully, it isn't just about the price. If I were working behind the chair in my salon today, I would give anything to have these products. i I only had the Foot Logics brand for a couple years before I sold my salon, and um, both these products are very, very effective. So let me show you some pictures. Um, I'm going to leave this up for just a quick second, and I had a couple things pop in. So let me go ask these questions, and then I'm going to pull up the pictures for you. Um, and very good question about the LCN foot balm roll on um, should not be used professionally. It is a retail item only. The only way that I would think that you would use it professionally is to put some on your hands and then rub it. But honestly, the the foot cream in the mask is, is going to be fine. And anything 25% or higher Really, it's for somebody that needs that type of product. So, um, yeah, definitely don't don't use it um, in the in the um, presentation room or the pedicure room unless you're you're rubbing it in your hands first. Um, and that was another question: How to use the foot balm LCN roll on? Not a professional use product. Um, can the LCN products be used as the mask? Well, if you saw here, let me go back here. Whoops. Let me go back here. Um, there is a mask in the LCN line. It is a urea 10% mask. And what is very nice about the mask in any of the products that LCN introduced is we don't, we don't wash the mask off. We massage it in. And if anybody's interested in getting the protocol on that, um, on any of the brands I have the protocol, please, please let me know. Um, does Foot Logics foam? 
what I'm going to think you're asking is, does it continuously spew out of the bottle at times and become foamy? Yes, it will for two reasons. One, if you don't shake the can up very well before each use, it will have a tendency to foam up. And if the product is old, it will have a tendency to foam up. So um, if you are having those problems and um, you're not getting them through a reliable distributor, um, you know, check your expiration dates and just be careful because I, I and, and I, and I'm going to say this more because I care than anything else, but my experience with working with the distributors that I have over the years for both these brands is they don't turn them as quickly as I do. My inventory turns very, very quickly. I'm constantly rotating, constantly getting up-to-date good products. I mean, right now I have products that expire in 2020. So just be careful where you're getting your products from. And um, and if you have any questions, you know, certainly re reach out to me. And FootLogics will replace products that that um, I have problems with. And even if you didn't buy it from me and you need some assistance, please let me know. Um, I have a remark here that clients have said the le hydration lasts with LCN longer um, than traditional teddies. And yes, now you can state why, and that's exactly true. And I'm going to show you something in a different um, medical grade petty. Uh, I'm not sure I would use that term. I would probably say more clinical. I would stay away from the word medical. I am new to using the angel foot file. I love it, but I Often, I feel that I still need to use a standing paper foot file too in order to get the best results. Um, Marsha, I have not had the opportunity to talk to you before. I would welcome the opportunity to talk to you about that. Um, there's two things that I that I that comes to mind is um, the first, you will not see visibly what you see with the angel feet that you typically see with the sanding file. And that is very challenging for us as pedicures to get used to, but the results are definitely a lot better. And I can tell you by using one of the sanding files, and I actually have a video at the end of this, if anybody wants to stay and see it, I'm more than happy to play it. But the sanding file, we are causing tiny micro lesions in the client's foot when we're using one of those files. So we're not only making them susceptible to external influences, infection, but we're causing their skin to split. I have a bunch of information on that. Let me put back my, um, my email address on here if I can get my cursor to move. Weird, it won't move on me. Come on, come on. Okay, not good. Bear with me here. My my little cursor is, is having a fun day with me. Come on. Oh, how funny. Do I have it upside down? Nope. Hmm. Well, okay. Let me click on this. So, um, wrong way. Okay. So there's my information. Please, please, please reach out to me. Um, so that I can talk with you more about that. And, oh, goodness gracious, I was wondering why I was having a problem. Okay, and I have clients daily, we're hoping for it there. I have clients tell me they're using the DD cream daily, but aren't getting the results they were hoping for. Their feet still require a lot of foot filing. If the DD cream with the 10% moisture or hot urea is not working for them, then I would definitely recommend trying one of the other products that have a higher um, content of the urea only because um, people need more. They definitely do. So let me, let me escape out of this. I am having problems with my mouth. I don't know what is up with that. Okay, let me escape out of this. 
And let me show you a couple pictures. So these are the traditional FootLogix pictures that I have um, that we've had for quite some time. And we do, we do see these results with the brand. Um, and give it a second for it to open. So the top picture and well, all of them actually is with using the 10% urea. Um, whether it be the DD cream or the rough skin mousse or the peeling, peeling mousse, um, it, that is your 10% urea. And, and, you know, I've been representing the brand since, since, um, 2008 and we do see those results. Um, however, pure transparency here, I'm going to show you a picture of something that happened in one of our classes recently um, that we did. And um, that's not the picture that I was looking for. I'll see him kind of care. Hold on one second. Well, this is a before and after. So here, here is my standard, um, you know, from the heart response when we compare the two products, because people ask me that all the time. I endorse them both. I think they are both very, very good. I think they both give very good results. However, the feedback that I get from my clients that have either used or still use the foot logic, because a lot of times we have clients that mix it up, is that with the um, with the LCN, we're seeing more hydration. And that makes sense only because of the extra added ingredients that are in the brand. So it, 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 it you know, it's not brain surgery to, to say, you know, this is what we're, we're getting because when you add things like shea butter and allotorin and panthenol and lactic acid and glycerin, you're definitely going to see some better results. This is one that we had that was the before picture. And this is the after picture. And again, this is um, using the LCN brand. So I did three of each. So you can see the differences on that. And um, let me see. So we want to see the video. So I'm going to pull the video back up so that we can watch that while I'm talking. This is a video that I did um, myself through. Um, my, um, if I can find it, I did myself through um, the photographer that took my headshot. And I took a friend of mine who hadn't gotten a pedicure before. Let's see if I can expand this for you. And what we did was we did a three week process of taking. Um, both her feet and one foot we filed with the angel feet file and the other foot we filed with a standard sandpaper file. Um, we used the LCN professional silk spray on both and um, the same application. So we sprayed, we let it sit, and um, after three to five minutes, we did our filing on her. And I literally was shocked by these differences. So this is what you're going to see with the, that kind of went a little bit too fast, but we can go back to it. So now we took a standard um, sandpaper file. And we did the same thing on the opposite foot. And both her feet were uh, the same condition. And you're going to see what the, skin looks like you can almost see it just here in the filing where it's a little you can see the dryness on it from the sandpaper and it looks more like sandpaper or cheese so the difference is just absolutely amazing as far as what they look like using the angel feet file and using the sandpaper grip. So 
it, it, you know, I had to see it for myself. So, uh, you know, glad to share it with you. Okay. Yeah, it might, I thought that my mouse might be getting dead there. Okay. I used to not feel as good too and can you return to myself and don't touch on. Okay. Good to know. And, and Leanne, you're absolutely right. Um, every once in a while, you know, these things are, um, you know, they're on a machine. So every once in a while, you may end up with a file that uh, may be a dud file. So if you do get a file and you don't feel like you're getting results on it, you know, let me know. And um, Angel Feet guarantees their file. So uh, they, you know, we can get it replaced for you. So are there any further questions? We're right on the hour. Oh, wait a minute. I have more. DD cream is amazing. Yes, it is. Um, how much time were they used in the product between? That was one pedicure. I'm sorry. Let me back that up. On Okay. On this one, it was one pedicure. On this one, which here's the before pic, the after picture, that was one pedicure. And on the, hold on a second. Let me get out of here. Oh my God. Thought I saved the other one. Let me get to my other pictures. On the Foot Logics pictures, um, it was, <laughs> yeah, now my mouse is acting up again. On the Foot Logics pictures, it was um, five, three to five, three to seven days depending on which picture, but most of it was, uh, you'll, you'll see results. You'll definitely see results within 72 hours with the Logix product. With both of them, you will. So um, you're not talking a whole lot of, you're not talking a whole lot of time. Okay. I am going to play with my mouse here again to try to get over to where I need to go. Ow. I could just, you know what? It's not, it's, it's making it, it's, <laughs> I don't know if y'all can see what it's doing here, but it's kind of funny. And I am trying to get over to, here we go. It's weird. Okay. Um, do you use the fine with the spray or before or after soaking in the foot bath? So the soak spray is to be put on the dry foot. So the process would be you would soak the foot first. Take the foot out. We like to wrap it up. Do your your cuticle work, your manicure and work, and then depending on, um, um, I like to do the seaweed scrub, the exfoliated scrub, which depending on which one you're using, I like to do that next. And then once you eliminate all that from the foot and the foot is dry, then you spray the soak spray allow it or the callus softener allow it to sit for three to five minutes and then you can go ahead and start your filing next question is how long does the um, angel feet last up to 1500 pedicures i still have the first one that i bought from 2008 and i worked in my salon for or worked behind the chair for three years and i still use it in my demo can you tell me whether the foot logic file or the angel feet file lasts longer you will get much more use out of the angel feet file than you will the foot logic file they have not been able to make that claim that it lasts that long um but i just know from my clients that order them how often they're replacing them so i can tell you that the angel feet file will get you longer um I got that question. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your kind comment, Sheila. Um, it is very important that we that we stay educated constantly. And um, and hopefully if you've learned one thing today from me, that would be great. Do I have a video from start to finish using the foot logics or LCN along with the angel feet file? Um, I have a v videos that are available. Yes. Um, mine personally are not all together, but if you email me, 
I will, um, I will find one for you that I have in my archive somewhere and I'll get that sent over to you. And, um, does LCN have something for sweaty feet? Not that I'm aware of at this moment, but that doesn't mean a definite no. I looked um, last week, but my contact was out of town for the week, so I wasn't able to, to call anybody. So if I do, you can, um, I'll, I'll definitely let you know. Okay. Looks like that's the end of the questions. A lot of thank yous, appreciations, and um, likewise here. So I hope you all have a great night. Again, there is my email address. There is my um, phone number. If you need to reach out to me, please don't hesitate. It's what I love and it's what I love to do. So I'm glad to help. Thank you, everybody. Have a great night.